Hey everybody, Desert Guardian here, and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than what you're used to from me. We're going to talk about grips, but specifically 1911 grips. So I was talking with the folks over at Lock Grips out of uh, Michigan, and they sent out three sets of grips for me to try out, and specifically I'll go from left to right. So these are their standard classics in FDE, and I've got a 1911 specifically for these. These are the Ridgebacks in camo. Um, the same one for this would be the one for this to take, blah, blah, blah. You know, these two are both for the same pistol to try out. And then these over here are the orange and black Lock Ops, which I'm so happy to have something else in orange. You know I love my orange. These are actually specifically going to go on one of my 1911s. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. I'm going to slide these up. Now these are all made in the USA. Great people over there. They make CZ grips, Beretta grips, 1911 grips, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to put a link to Lock Grips right down below so you can check out all the products they have. They make a ton of cool stuff. So these two grips over here have kind of an earth tone to it and the 1911 that they are looking at going on is this right here. This is a Springfield Armory Master Grade Competition Model A 1911. This was made in 1986. Uh, it is sort of an heirloom piece and it is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and it's got sort of an olive drab to it. It's got the adjustable rear sights. Uh, it, it really is nothing super out of the ordinary other than just being a rare original condition beautiful 1911 and i love it now right now i've got a set of gray grips on it because it originally came with a wraparound hogue grip which i could not stand it was fat and it just didn't feel right in rubber so when i was talking to the guys over at lock they said well hey we've got something that'll work great and i said oh gosh you have anything in an od green or something like that and i sent him a picture of the pistol and they said no this is going to look even better so the grips that this one is going to run are going to be these fte classics they are going to look fantastic so we're going to put those on this one i might also test fit the ridge back just so you can see what the color difference is now for the orange and black lock ops this is going to be for something different that is going to be for my baby. This is my Springfield Armory TRP. Make sure we're all clear. I absolutely love this 1911. This is one of my favorite guns to shoot. It is super accurate, super comfortable to shoot, and the TRP line, they've done such a great job on. They got rid of the, the palm swell in the back. They put this aggressive checkering in the front. Everything is hand fit. Um, just a very nice shooting pistol. I've owned so many 1911s that are thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm not going to name names, but I would put this up against some of the top names up there because I have. I've owned them, I've shot them, I've compared them, and this guy right here, for some reason, for me, this TRP is my favorite and probably best shooting gun that I own. And that says a lot because I've got a lot of gums. And this one is getting the orange grips, the orange lock ops. So let's pull these off and we'll put on the orange ones. So it's already been cleared. We'll go ahead and we'll... I had a little star driver. I can't find it anywhere, so I'm going old school and using the, the little uh, L-shaped wrench here. So bear with me. So the TRP has a couple of unique things about it. First off, it runs a magwell. So the bottom of the grip is flat and flush with a magwell. So standard 1911 will run a grip like this, where it's angled at the bottom. But with the magwell, you want it to sit flush up against it. I could run these with it, but it looks better with the flush cut. Also, the TRP has an ambidextrous safety. So you have to have a cutout on that side for the safety. All right. So let's take a look and see how these are going to look on here. Oh, look at that. I got some grease down in there. Or oil, I should say. So we're going to pop on the first one. This is the orange lock ops nice snug fit right up against the magwell i love that we'll put this guy back on here now i have oil on my fingers from touching the oil on the inside of the pistol so everything's a little bit slipperier it's all right i'll get through it wish i could find my little driver for this so like I was saying, the, the front and rear strap checkering on this 
is very aggressive. And these lock ops, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can kind of see they have very high ridges on here. It's going to be a very aggressive texture. So back here, in your little sensitive bits, not as much. But when you get towards the front of the grip, it is super aggressive. And I love that about the TRP. So we'll get the other side put on. And you can see right here, this is where the ambidextrous safety actually goes underneath the grip. So it's got to have a little cutout there for that. If you don't have the cutout there, it's just going to hold that safety in place. Now, there are so many out there. Oops, I dropped one. There's so many 1911s out there that don't have an ambidextrous safety, but the TRP is one that does. So we've got to account for it. So we'll get that other side put on. It's actually a really easy uh, upgrade to do. They just drop right in place. Throw your screws back in. Now you do have variation of thickness when it comes to 1911 grips. Sometimes you can get a, a thinner grip or a thicker grip depending on how big your hands are or what you're comfortable with. These are just a standard thickness. So they fit great with the magwell and they fit my hand. All right, so that is the orange and black lock ops grip. Oh yeah, that feels really good. That is a nice, aggressive texture. My fingers wrap around, I catch the high points on that. It's sitting right across the calloused part of my hand. So yeah, that is really a great feeling grip texture on that. Goes great with the front checkering and everything. And you know me, I like my orange, so I had to put an orange grip on there. So that is the lock grips, lock ops in orange and black for the ambidextrous safety and a magwell. So it's set up and it also has the, the thumb indention so you can get to your magazine release a little bit easier. All right, let's move on to the Master Grade Competition Model A. So let's set this guy aside. And that is this little beauty. You know, it's it's not fancy, doesn't have front serrations. You know, everything is kind of plain on it. It's got the good old fashioned A1 palm swell on it. You know, this is not a, a super fancy pistol, but this one was an all hand fit. It was designed for competition in the 80s. And like I said, it's it's heirloom quality, unrestored and absolutely beautiful. So I love it, but let's enhance it a little bit. So let's get, Let's just pop this off and we'll take a look at how both of them look on there. Get the screws out here. We'll start with the left side. Pop off the gray grips, which never really matched it very well. And we'll go, let's take a look at this flat dark earth. That looks sharp. I really like that. This is probably the one that I'm gonna run with most of the time, but just for the fun of it, let's take a look at the Ridgeback. So the Ridgeback has a has a more aggressive texture. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know if it's more aggressive rather than just a little bit different feeling. They both have aggressive texture. And there's the Ridgeback. So that's the camo. And this one is set up for ambidextrous, so I could put it on the TRP if I wanted to. Um, but that's the camo version, so I, that's beautiful too. But you know what, I think I'm gonna stick with the Flat Dark Earth because I really like the classic look of this 1911. So let's get this put back on. And then we'll flop over to the other side. Guys, this is a really simple upgrade that anybody can do. If you have basic tools, very basic knowledge and you clear your pistol make it all safe I mean seriously look at the difference go from a gray that doesn't match to an FTE that matches and looks amazing all right let's get the other side switched out can't have one without the other I cannot wait to get these to the range too I love the feel of the texture on them now this one it's not as super aggressive as that lock ops, which is on the TRP, but then again, this gun isn't, it doesn't have the super aggressive front checkering or back strap, um, but it has more than enough, you know, tactile grip on it that you're, you're never gonna, you know, lose sight of it. Okay, so let me take this back off here real quick and show you. This one was actually specifically made for my Master Grade Competition Model A. Because see, no ambidextrous safety on it. 
no cutout for the ambidextrous safety. All right? So this one here has a cutout. I mean, I could run this on here. It would work just fine, but it's just got a cutout back there so you can swap it back and forth with an ambidextrous safety 1911. But these were specifically made for this beauty, so they are going on. I've got another 1911 that I think will work great for those. We'll check that out. All right, so there you have it. That is the Lock Grips Flat Dark Earth Classics on the Springfield Armory Master Grade Competition Model A 1911, 1986 vintage. Beautiful, feels great, nice and grippy, but not super aggressive. So that is the Flat Dark Earth Classics. And of course, the orange and black Lock Ops on the TRP. So there you have it. There's my two new sets. Well, three if you include this one of grips from Lock Grips. I cannot wait to get these out and shoot them. I absolutely love the orange in this one. They did a great job. I love the flat dark earth with the OD green. Man, I tell you, talk about a simple way to really bring a little sex appeal to your 1911. You know, go to Lock Grips. I'm going to put their website right down below so you can check out their website. Go over there, buy six or seven sets. This is like changing clothes. This is like jewelry for your gun. So don't, don't settle with just one set. Buy two or three and have some fun and switch it up every once in a while. So that's it. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I'm going to keep bringing you cool new stuff, and I really, really appreciate your support. So for Lock Grips, this is Desert Guardian. Out.